Hello, I'm the Bongo Master and I'm reporting live from Bongo Bash 2010, which this year has been held once again at Stourport. One of the questions I get asked frequently is this. Bongo Master, how do I change the coolant on my system? This video will show you how. Okay, what we're going to do is, um, because this bongo's burst a hose at some stage, um, all the coolant's dropped out of it. So what we're going to do is show you how to refill it and bleed it. And the first thing you need to do is find out where your radiator cap is, which is under here. There's a radiator cap. Okay, so now you need to find the bleed hose. So you take off your centre console, undo your clips, and you flip your SIG back. This is your bleed hose. It comes out here from what's called the cross docking stock, if you want to get technical. It comes out either over or under the cable, and it's clipped in and around, and it's a hose that goes to nowhere. Sometimes it can be overlooked and you don't think it's actually there. So you unclip it, unclip it, and that's what you should have. That clip should be on there, nice and tight. If it's not that full length, it's a good opportunity to replace it with a new bleed hose. Make sure there's no chafing on the bottom of the hose there if it's been resting on the alternator. If there is, again, replace it. Um, then run it over the top of the cables like it's been done here. Or you can sleeve it with a bit of split hose and that'll protect it from the alternator just to stop it rubbing. So you get a pair of pliers, or if it's a Jubilee clip, undo it, and you slide that back, and then you pull out your bung, which won't always be as easy as that. You might need to get a pair of pliers or pipe grips just to hold the pipe and give it a twizzle. Then you need a funnel. This one's been nicely prepared. Um, any funnel will do, as long as it's nice and big, and the bottom you can cut to a diameter that fits nice and tightly over the hose and makes a good seal. Now this one just slots in there like that. And you also need to have a pair of gloves on standby, preferably waterproof, because you might well be getting hot coolant dripping on your hands. So Kirsty's in there holding the bleed hose and she has to hold it uh, at a reasonable height, higher than the um, header tank, which is at the back of the, um, under the bonnet. So the next thing you do, take your radiator cap off, put it somewhere safe, and start filling through the hole with your coolant, which is a mixture of water and antifreeze. And you need about 40 or 50 percent mixture. Put a funnel in and start filling. The bongo system holds 13 litres altogether, um, but as we've only changed the hose, we've probably only lost a proportion of that so we just you just what just keep on filling until it overflows out the radiator okay yeah okay so we're getting near the top Kirsty's holding the funnel inside and eventually this coolant will start working its way up the bleed pipe and into the funnel if I lower the funnel there slightly just see the levels just starting to come in with a few air bubbles. Just bring it back up there again. There you go. We see some bubbles coming out of the radiator and it's full. So we put the cap back on the radiator. He says. And we start filling up the header tank. OK, 
Kirstika will now see the, the coolant beginning to go up into the funnel if she lowers it. Yeah. So she keeps it fairly high. You can see the level there, just dropping out. tank up to the brim, like so, and at this point it's a good idea just to release the radiator cap, not take it off, just release it until it overflows, like so, and then put it back on, and that ensures that the pipes from the radiator to the header tank are now full of coolant, and there's no air trapped in there. So, we're ready to start what we could seesawing it to get as much air as we can out whilst it's cold. So, over to Kirsty. As they are, So, now we filled the system up and we've had the level come up into the funnel, as you can see there. If I just angle it towards. There you go, on cue. So all we need to do now is, without the engine running, is just seesaw it backwards and forwards, not letting the level drop out of the bottom of the funnel. Just go up and down, and that just works the air bubbles out of the system before we get the engine going. No rush, nice and slow. You don't want the water vortexing down because then it sucks more bubbles back in. Just keep doing that for a few minutes. So as you'll see, when we bring it down, the level comes back up, get the bubbles coming up through, and as the air's coming out, the coolant level should be settling back down a little bit. So we have to keep an eye on the coolant level as we're doing the seesaw. Whilst Kirst is doing all that, uh, the second person must ensure that the header tank doesn't become empty. The whole point of this is that at no time during the whole process from the start should the header tank become empty or the funnel become empty. So if you've got a header tank which is dirty brown, which most of them are, you can keep sticking a stick in just to make sure that you've got plenty of coolant in there. It doesn't matter if it's overflowing, but what you mustn't do is allow the header tank to become empty. Because as Kirsty said, as the air is bubbling out, it's being replaced by coolant, so the levels will drop and you must add more coolant. So what's going to happen now is we've done it cold and now we turn the engine to get some heat in the system and the process from now is eventually to get the bottom hose hot by opening the thermostat.